A community meeting is being held on Saturday, January 4th from 10 a.m. to noon at the Ken Hill Center to discuss the future of the former Bowie Racecourse property. Members of the Bowie City Council and state lawmakers will be in attendance. The Stronach Group owns the former Bowie Racecourse property, Pimlico Racecourse, and Laurel Park. The owners won't need the Bowie property if proposed changes to Pimlico and Laurel can be made, and the 161 acres may transfer ownership as part of a broader deal. If the property is divested, ownership may be transferred to the City of Bowie, Bowie State University, Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission, or a combination of entities. City of Bowie officials plan to sign a letter next week committing to use the property for open space and recreation only. Maryland National Capital Park and Planning maintains county parks in Prince George's County, and officials there would likely support open space and recreation uses as well. According to some reports, Bowie State University is likely interested in the property to build dorms. So what exactly is the former Bowie Racecourse property? Most people are familiar with seeing the track along Racetrack Road, but an aerial view is helpful to see the size of the property and the relationship of that property to nearby parks and neighborhoods. The main portion of the property can clearly be identified by the oval track. The total land that may be divested totals about 161 acres and it includes property on both sides of Racetrack Road. Ownership of more than 170 acres of the former Racetrack property has already transferred to Maryland National Capital Park and Planning for open space and recreation, most of it changing hands in the 1990s. That includes about 120 acres where the Saddlebrook East Park is located, 11.5 acres that make up a portion of Saddlebrook West Park, a one-acre sliver of land along the WBNA Trail, and a nearly 40-acre parcel that includes the new Horse Pen Park along the WBNA Trail. Maryland National Capital Park and Planning also owns several nearby parcels of land that were not part of the former racetrack property. To the south is Yorktown Park on land that Levin and Sons once purchased from the Jesuits. To the north is the WBNA Trail and more than 75 acres of land along the trail. Several residential areas are in close proximity to the former racetrack property, including Saddlebrook. Saddlebrook was built on a portion of the former racetrack facility, and several barns and an access road to the track were once located where Saddlebrook is located today. Saddlebrook West also abuts the property, and there are a couple of residential properties to the north that abut the racetrack property. And of course, Anne Arundel County lies on the other side of the Patuxent River from the racetrack property. The former racetrack property has a few characteristics which are important to keep in mind. Number one, portions of the property that abut the Patuxent River will have limited use because some of the areas close to the river tend to flood. Number two, racetrack road is the only way to access the property. Number three, the property is not contiguous with the Bowie State University property, so any use by the school would have to be supported by shuttle service or individual car trips. Number four, Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission has contiguous property in its portfolio stretching from Bowie's Idlewild neighborhood to the south to the Fran Euler Park to the north with one gap in the middle at the racetrack property. Filling that gap by transitioning at least a portion of the property to the Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission could support a future trail that connects to the existing WB&A trail. So how will the future of the property be decided? The Baltimore Sun published a very detailed article about a deal that was reached between the Stronach Group and Baltimore officials in October. Previous proposals included the closing of the Pimlico race course, and that was unacceptable to officials in Baltimore. The following details are included in the proposed deal. The Pimlico property would be donated to Baltimore. The existing clubhouse at Pimlico would be replaced. The Pimlico track would be rotated 30 degrees to allow better use of the overall property. The Preakness would remain at Pimlico. Total improvements to the Pimlico race course would cost almost $200 million. The Stronach Group's training and stable operations would be consolidated at Laurel Park. $175 million worth of improvements would be made at Laurel Park. The Maryland Stadium Authority would issue $350 million in 30-year bonds to pay for the improvements at Pimlico and Laurel. Stronach would divest itself of the Bowie Training Center facility property. So the Bowie Racetrack property is not going to be divested in a vacuum. A deal has to come together in order for the Strong Edge Group to feel comfortable that they no longer need the property. And there are impediments for a deal being reached. Legislation must be approved by the Maryland General Assembly. The 2020 session starts later this month and runs through the beginning of April. The funding mechanism will have to be finalized and approved. 
Additional casino revenues are being requested for this project. Any funding for the project will be competing with funding for roads and schools. The conditions of roads and schools in Bowie is a major concern for Bowie residents. It's important to remember that just last year, the Sronach Group was proposing a $40 million investment to create a state-of-the-art training facility on the Bowie property. Now, Stronach is talking about divesting itself of the property. Although the current deal looks promising, it's hard to tell what will happen during the General Assembly. Plans can and do change. One last question that needs to be answered is how the plans for the property will acknowledge the history of the property. The track first opened for horse racing in October 1914. It was originally called Prince George's Park, and the name was later changed to the Bowie Race Course. Horse racing was very popular at the time, and several tracks in Maryland opened within a five-year span, including Laurel, Marlboro, Habit of Grace, and Bowie. Train service was available to most of the tracks, and Bowie racing fans could take the WBNA train to get to the races. The Pennsylvania Railroad would later offer service with special trains to the Bowie track from Baltimore, Washington, and as far away as Philadelphia. By the late 1920s, Bowie was attracting high-quality horses, high-quality jockeys, and on some days, nearly 20,000 fans came out to Bowie to see the races. Attendance would reach an all-time high in 1956 when nearly 26,000 people came to the track in a single day. Bowie became known for winter racing in the 1950s with races held in January and February. Bowie had a reputation for staying open during winter weather. When it snows, Bowie goes, people used to say. Major news services, including the Associated Press and United Press International, covered the Bowie track. Newspapers throughout the country and Canada carried race results of the news from Bowie. When the facilities weren't being used for horse racing, other community events were hosted at the track. City of Bowie fireworks were held each summer, and an annual Oktoberfest celebration was held each fall. The track also hosted the Prince George's County Fair annually during the late 1970s to early 1980s. The last horse race took place at the Bowie Race Course in July 1985. Horse racing was not as popular in Maryland as it once was. By the time Bowie closed, tracks in Haverdick Race, Cumberland, Bel Air, Hagerstown, and Marlboro had all been shuttered. Only Pimlico and Laurel remained open, although horse racing still occurred annually at the Maryland State Fair in Timonium. The Bowie track remained open as a training center for 30 years, closing in 2015. Well, look. Morning, Cal.